Meteorologist Chester Lampkin tracking the storm system Ida that is moving through the region that has prompted a tornado watch for Metro Washington until 7 o'clock this afternoon. Of course, you can always get the latest on the severe weather alerts right here on WUSA9.com and on our mobile app. We also have a flood watch in force for pretty much the entire DMV. That's through 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We expect widespread heavy rainfall the rest of this afternoon and tapering off this evening and uh, the downpours on already soaked ground means yeah we've got flooding issues and we've had lots of rain in the area this is what the radar looked like at midday and we were tracking some downpours there right on through the uh, afternoon hours here at 1 30 uh, heavy rains across areas north and west of washington but a few storms moving their way into southern maryland and through the metro as well right on through two three o'clock downpours once again especially in the shenandoah and areas west of the blue ridge where the heaviest rainfall will be next several hours this is three o'clock look Look at these flicks of orange and red. These are big time downpours. Leesburg to Charlestown, Martinsburg, Berryville, Winchester, and some of these storms could be on the stronger side too, especially the leading edge of it here. We're concerned about isolated tornadoes. We're concerned about wind damage, and we can see this all the way through three, four o'clock. Big storms look to be moving through Metro Washington here, the western part of the Metro, three, four, five o'clock through Burke, Vienna, Chantilly, Sterling, Leesburg, Haymarket, Manassas, Bull Run, and out towards the Gainesville and Warrenton areas. And then at four, five o'clock, it's moving through Rockville, Prince George's County, Upper Marlboro area, uh, through uh, Calver County, down through North Beach and Prince Frederick as well. By about six, seven o'clock, we'll probably see the heaviest rain starting to lift away. Still some lingering shower through 9, 10, 11 o'clock this evening, and then things will pretty much die out by midnight. Rain totals. Again, most areas will see somewhere between another inch to two inches of rain with a few spots, especially north and west of Washington, three to four more inches. So we want to remind you again, do not drive into flooded roads. Do not walk into flooded roads. Don't get into any kind of flooding if you can. Just take six, six inches of water to knock an adult off their feet. A foot of water floats most cars, and two feet of water will move even the bigger trucks and SUVs. Turn around, don't drown. Again, we've got the flood watch until, rather, the tornado watch until 7 o'clock this evening. Here's your seven day outlook showing that, yeah, we've got better weather on the way once we get past today and this evening. Uh, again, tomorrow, once the rain clears away, it's just a completely sunny day. Rain free skies, 79, 70s as well for Friday, close to 80. And then back to the 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a spotty storm for the long holiday weekend on Sunday, but most of the holiday weekend is looking good.